On a two-hour date line Sunday, he claims he can cure the sick. Hallelujah. Critics say the only miracle may be the millions he's making. It's time to begin telling the truth. Pastor Benny Hinn. Go let him Calling down miracles and raising millions, he says, for God's work. But what happens to people who believed they were healed? And what happens to some of those donations? Ministry documents and inside sources tell us about shopping sprees, private jets, and luxurious living. And what does Pastor Benny Hinn say? Why will you not audit and publicly release your finances? Though Hinn refuses to make his financial information public, he has said that every dollar given to his ministry goes to the work of the Lord. Be that as it may, Benny Hinn does manage to live very well. His home is this mansion overlooking the Pacific Ocean, built and paid for by his ministry. According to building records, it has seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and more than 7,000 square feet of living space. The ministry told us the mansion was its parsonage and a good investment. According to area realtors today, it's worth about $10 million. And when Hinn goes to crusades around the world, he travels in this private jet. According to documents we obtained, the ministry pays more than $112,000 a month to use the plane. And closer to home, Pastor Benny still travels in style. This photo obtained by Dateline shows him getting out of a Mercedes SUV. And here he is driving a Mercedes convertible. Both cars retail for about $80,000. We've received new information from deep inside the Hinn organization. And others have come forward to tell us that we only scratch the surface when it comes to Benny Hinn, his money, and his miracles. Listen to what this former Hinn insider says. There was never one complete record that would suit the criteria for a documented miracle healing. And that troubled me deeply. To me, this was a fraud and deception being put across the people that are his donors. And something else came our way since our first report. Hundreds of pages of ministry expense documents. A look at these documents shows that while he's on ministry business, Hinn stays in luxury hotel rooms. At this crusade in Milwaukee, the documents indicate Benny Hinn occupied the presidential suite of the Pfister Hotel. The hotel told us the room cost $990 a night. At a crusade in Panama, the documents show, and we verified with the Intercontinental Hotel, that Hinn was in the royal suite. The published rate, $1,700 a night. At a crusade in Montreal, we verified Pastor Benny was ensconced in the royal suite of the St. James Hotel. The regular rate there? $2,700 a night. The room is as big as an average house, 2,200 square feet, including a makeup room, dressing room, and a piano that plays by itself. And we found some other trips that seem to have little to do with spreading the word of God. This member of Hinn's security team, who we'll call Steve, and whose appearance and voice we've disguised, says he traveled with Pastor Benny and personally escorted him on shopping excursions. According to Steve and other ministry sources, Hinn is a regular at Beverly Hills clothing stores like Versace, Louis Vuitton, and Bijan, where Hinn's name is on the window along with princes and heads of state. But there are questions raised by some of the purchases we found in those expense documents. For example, in just over four weeks in 2003, we found six separate charges at high-end clothing stores totaling more than $6,000 all charged on the ministry's corporate card. The ministry told us that every single trip made by Pastor Benny is approved by his executive board. But we were intrigued by what appear to be stops made by Pastor Benny at resorts and spas around the world on his way to and from crusades. The ministry called these stops layovers. Now for most of us travelers, a layover means long hours waiting for a connection in an unfamiliar airport, maybe an overnight stay at a low rent hotel. But remember, Pastor Benny travels in the ministry's private jet and sets his own schedule. So consider Benny Hinn's version of a layover. On his way home to California from this crusade in Columbia, the documents show and the hotel confirmed for us, Pastor Benny stopped at this resort in Cancun, Mexico. He stayed in the presidential suite there that cost the ministry $2,684 for one night. 
The trip was described as a layover. Right now, After crusades in Russia and Sweden in July of 2003, Pastor Benny apparently didn't get on his private jet, fly west, and go home. Instead, he flew from Sweden south to Italy, then back north to England, with an entourage that included his son, his daughter, and her fiancé. There were expensive meals, like this one for more than $900 in Italy, and one at this Lebanese restaurant in London for more than $1,700. And check out these hotel bills. In Italy, transportation charges of more than $6,000. In London, another $6,000 for incidentals, such as chauffeur services and in-room tea. The documents also list tips. In three days, more than $4,500 worth, including $1,000 to a concierge and another $1,000 to a desk manager. And then there were Pastor Benny's hotel rooms. In London, the documents show, Hinn stayed at the exclusive Lanesborough Hotel. The hotel confirmed for us it was suite 210 and told us that they never discount rooms. The going rate, the hotel says, more than $3,000 a night. And then there was Pastor Benny's hotel room in Milan. According to the expense documents, room 1001. The hotel confirmed it's the presidential suite. The hotel website says the room is fit for a prince and the largest hotel suite in Europe. Among its 5,400 square feet, three bedrooms, a formal dining room, a fireplace, a jacuzzi, a sauna, a Turkish bath, a large terrace with a panoramic view of the city, and a 100-foot-long swimming pool decorated with marble and frescoes. The hotel told us this room rents for more than $10,000 a night. No discounts. In its email to us, the ministry said that Hin uses a private jet for security reasons and that it's often necessary to make layovers to refuel his plane and for the pilots to rest. Not surprisingly, Hin critic Ole Anthony has a different view. It's just a lifestyle. He believes he deserves it. His board of directors says it's okay. So what are you going to do? And when they rationalize it by saying, after all, he's the head of a hundred million dollar a year organization. It has nothing to do with it. You're called to be a servant, a bond servant of Christ. Not to live like a king. According to the documents we obtained and ministry insiders, there is also a great deal of cash going out. According to these receipts in 2003, much of it apparently went to Benny Hinn and his family members. This petty cash chit, $1,300 to Hinn's daughter Jessica, no reason given. And this one, $2,550 to her fiancé for watching Joshua, Pastor Benny's son. According to the expense documents, in just over a month in 2003, more than $23,000 of ministry cash was dispensed to Pastor Benny and his wife, who's also a ministry employee. And we found this record, showing $25,000 in cash dispersed to accompany Pastor Benny and for a crusade in Anaheim, California, just 30 miles from his house. It's not just Pastor Benny, it's all of these big ministries. They start believing that they are special, and all of that ministry money is their piggy bank. This is how Pastor Benny explained it to his followers when he declined to speak to us for our first report. You may have a question, by the way, on why I did not go on that program. Very simple. The Lord said, don't. So we approached Pastor Benny after a crusade in Toronto, and we recorded the encounter with a hidden camera. Why will you not audit and publicly release your finances? Well, we've talked about this before and you have not gladly sat. Sir, I've been asking you for an interview for three years. And I'm still waiting. And through it all, Pastor Benny maintains that he has truth and God on his side. Look at these eyes. I have never lied to you. Never. I never will. I'd rather die than lie to God's people. And what would Christian watchdog Ole Anthony like to say to Pastor Benny? Your ministry is based on lies. And it's time to begin telling the truth. Because you're going to have to meet your maker soon.